Hey everybody, it's May 30th, 2018, and this is Newsbreak, and I'm Alex Ben. Let's get to the news. There's a lot of it. You heard about the Roseanne story. The Roseanne show got canceled because of some tweets that Roseanne did. What you may not have heard is that TV outlets have been scrambling to distance themselves from the Roseanne franchise following ABC's cancellation of the Roseanne reboot. So reruns of the series have been pulled from Paramount Network, TV Land, CMT, which is a country music television network. I don't know what it's doing there. And Laugh, a channel I've never even ever heard of. Uh, these people have gone crazy. And even Hulu um, has uh, taken all the present shows off of Hulu. That all within a period of 24 hours from the time when she posted the tweet. Boy, is that something, huh? Okay. Let's go to our next story, which is the Harvard study that was released Tuesday that determined that 4,645 people in Puerto Rico died as the result of Hurricane Maria, which is a sharp contrast to the official death toll of, remember the original death toll? It was 4,645. How many do you think we estimated originally? 64. Okay. The United States and North Korea concluded their second round of talks in Panmunjom on Wednesday as the two sides also met in Singapore to discuss the potential summit between President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. All right. Amnesty International reported Tuesday. Now, this is a story, by the way, that you don't get anywhere else. Why? Because our president monopolizes the news cycle. Uh, and this is an important story. Amnesty International issued a report Tuesday detailing the Nicaraguan government's deadly response to recent protests that killed 70 people in the Central American nation. You know, if that happened here, 70 people were killed by, the, by government forces and so on. <laughs> you can bet your life it would be news. In a shoot-to-kill Nicaragua strategy, strategy to repress protest, Amnesty documents the use of police force alleged extrajudicial killings by armed pro-government groups. Missouri Governor Eric, and uh, it's Eric Greitens, I think is how it's pronounced, a sometime politically brash and uh, outsider whose unconventional resume as a Rhodes Scholar and a Navy SEAL uh, made him a rising star in the Republican Party, plus he had really great good looks, okay, uh, resigned Tuesday amid a widening investigation that rose from an affair with a former hairdresser. Ah, yes, another Republican bites the dust. The Dow Jones Industrial Average did not do good yesterday, down nearly 400 points amid concerns over political turmoil in Italy and uh, renewed trade tensions with China. Following a report on CNN detailing allegations against actor Morgan Freeman by eight women accusing him of sexual misconduct, one of, was, one of which was the reporter of the story, a lawyer representing Freeman is demanding a retraction from CNN. Attorney Robert M. Schwartz reportedly sent a 10-page letter to CNN President Jeff Zucker in which he calls the CNN story a product of malicious intent, falsehood, sleight of hand, an absence of editorial control, and journalistic malpractice. To all you migraine sufferers out there, relief is on the way. They finally have a new number of medications to avoid their crippling, your, your crippling headaches. Earlier this month, the FDA approved a Amovig, I guess it's how it's pronounced, the first migraine drug to prevent uh, um, migraine headaches ever developed. And then on the heels of that comes a successful trial of a migraine prevention drug called Galcanezumab. Uh, try asking for that at your drugstore if you haven't got a headache, uh, which it will cut the number of days most patients suffer from a migraine in half without significant side effects. Finally, uh, The Expanse. This is going to be happy news for Damian Chaplin, who does our show, The Exchange, from uh, 9.30 uh, Eastern Daylight Time, uh, Tuesday through Friday. Give him a free plug there, because he loves this show. Well, it's been saved, The Expanse. Amazon has closed the deal to pick up the sci-fi drama series, which is in its third and final season on sci-fi. 
Well, it's time for our picture of the day, and we, for that we go to the uh, National Spelling Bee, which is currently going on. And it is a picture of a young child by the name of Liam uh, Hahn, age 12, from Rolla, Missouri, who, who seems to be really taking it in in his own way. His parents were taking a picture of him and all the other people who are anxiously waiting to spell some word that none of us ever heard of, and he gave his parents the tongue, <laughs> okay? And finally, last night on the, uh, on the Citizens Panel and on the Ramble, uh, we had uh, a discussion about the Roseanne situation. What do they think is going to happen if they have Roseanne on their channel? That God is going to send a thunderbolt down to get them or something? Yeah. What? This is groupthink. You know, yeah. it, it's, it, they're all piling on. I yes. Think, I think right. It is. I, I would just like to say, I think the whole thing, even just pulling the show off, whatever network it was on, I don't know, I never watched it. Uh, is was an overreaction. I mean, she's sitting there uh, this morning or whatever. She thought of something she thought was funny. She tweeted it out. She realized she screwed up. She apologized, and then they just fucked her over. I mean, I think it's just it's the whole thing is a complete overreaction. Well, it's no, it's saving your ass time, is what it is. It is yeah. It is prejudging what the public is going to think. If you keep yeah. the show on the air, she apologized before they pulled the show. Well, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's she, the whole she thing. Apologized. Is ridiculous. She apologized only after she got some heat from Twitter. Oh. And that was from our citizens panel last night discussing the Roseanne situation, which uh, still is is dominating the news cycle. Uh, by the way, uh, you can see our Citizens Panel and the Ramble every night at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And you can go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett slash live, okay? Uh, and, and if you go to it right now, what you'll find is a player, and it's got a timer on it. It's the countdown to the next show. You can actually tab that as a in your browser, so it's there all the time. So that whenever we go on the air, that player starts playing. You can also find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube. Uh, you can, after the fact, uh, you can find us on uh, uh, live stream. Uh, you can find us on Vimeo. Uh, you can find us in just a, a lot of places. So uh, be, be able to check in with us and see the show after the fact if you want to. Listen, that's, uh, that's all we got for you today. We'll be back again tomorrow. Have a nice day, everybody.